Alright, welcome to my Let's Play of StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. A couple of things from the get-go, and I'm only going to say this in this video, I'm not going to say it in all the others that follow. This is my first Let's Play, so um, there's liable to be some hiccups along the way. If there are, look over me because I am a noob. Two, I will be doing this uh, Let's Play on casual uh, difficulty for two reasons, mainly. The first is I want to get through the story as, as quickly as I can. Uh, the second is it is my first Let's Play and I just want to get it done and work out the kinks as I go through it, okay? If I decide to go back and do harder difficulties, then I may record a second Let's Play, but for the time being I just want to get one of them done, just to say that I've done something. Um, beyond that, I will try my best to put in my description the software that I'm using to record this with, uh, my hardware settings, um, and a few other things that people may ask. Um, but I think I also will disable comments for a, a couple of reasons as well. First, um, YouTube recently has been having problems with the, their comments and a lot of the places that I watch on YouTube have basically decided just to give up comments because they their comment streams have been getting spammed. Um, the second is I'm going to be hosting this let's play from my website and if you want to leave me a comment I really would like to see it there rather than on YouTube. I only use YouTube to store my videos and to host them so that way I don't have to pay for storage um, where my website's hosted. So anyway that's the beginning spiel I guess and we'll just go on from here. I'm gonna, I've wanna. i already played a couple of missions I think I've, I've gotten through three of them and uh, I'm gonna start over right now I'm not going for achievements or anything I'm, I'm basically just looking to get through the missions get the story um, uh, played out and like I said if I go go back and replay it I'll put I'll you know I'll make a, a, a let's play for achievements or something that kind of deal but anyway for right now I'm just trying to get through the story so we're going to go heart of the storm or heart of the swarm new campaign on casual I will try my best not to talk in the cutscenes because they do tell the bulk of the story okay um, quite frankly just looking at my past trials here I'm not going to be talking a whole lot, um, but I will try to get better as things go along. Okay? Here goes.
vengeance shall be mine. For I am the queen of the lake. Alrighty then. I have to give props to Blizzard. They have always, always done cutscenes outstanding. I mean, even back when StarCraft 1 was around, they were ahead of their time with these videos. Okay, prologue. With the disappearance of the Queen of Blades, the Zerg Swarm has been shattered. Jim Rayner's rebel forces have smuggled Sarah Kerrigan off Char, leaving the planet to General Warfield and the Dominion. Meanwhile, the powerful Zelnaga artifact has disappeared. In a hidden base in the Umojin Protectorate, Rayner and Prince Valerian have begun conducting tests to ensure that Kerrigan's return to humanity is complete. But they're running out of time. Throughout the sector, Emperor Minsk's forces carry out a relentless hunt for the Dominion's most hated enemy, Sarah Kerrigan. Well, I think that sets the stage. Let's press any key and see what happens. Don't make me tell you again. <laughs> he looks pissed. out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us! Test phase two, commencing. So why do all the ghosts wear ponytails? Or the female ghosts, anyway. Anyway, doesn't what matter. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, 
I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? Yep. When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Yep. Do you know what could happen? Nope. All the test subjects are in a secure environment. Secure environment. But of course they are. Are you able to control it? Yeah, I have it. Okay, the next step. See if you can order the drone to mutate into a hatchery. Yep. I'm trying my best to learn these a key commands. It's the central structure of the Zerg base. It spreads creep so that other structures can be built. The hatchery also produces lava, which you use to morph into more drones or other Zerg creatures. When you use lava, the hatchery will replenish them over time. Nasty. Okay, Kerrigan. I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. Yeah, I can do that. I like how this creep just creeps. <laughs> it's quite disgusting, actually. You're doing well, Kerrigan. Can you morph more drones? I need an overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. One overlord shouldn't hurt. Nah. That, that ain't gonna hurt at all. The Zerg use overlords to generate more supply. Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. Where's Kerrigan at? I guess I can't tell right now, can I? Now you pay no attention at all, do you? Stop here, but let's take this a little further. Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. The spawning pool allows the hatchery to turn lava into zerglings. You know this is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. What could go wrong? The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, wait till you see this. I'll make some zerglings. How many do I need? Six? Kerrigan? What are you doing? Nothing. Putting your controlled environment to the test. Checkpoint. Stop! I didn't ask you to create Zerglings! Funny thing about Zerg, Valerian. They never do what you expect. <laughs> Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock down on the sublevel and power up the Eradicator. Nothing gets out! Maybe if I destroy your pretty Eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. The 
those sentry bots are destroying the zerglings in their pens. I can change that. I sense more zerglings in holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Containment breach. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. is with the Zerg. Why not? Take it down. I like how these ones... I have nothing to do, so I'll just run around for a while. There, so we'll go around this way. Run! Damn it! Get all personnel off that level. No personnel remain on sublevel. It's all out of control. Containment door closed. Automated gas defense activated. That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. to destroy the Eradicator. Ah. I think you should just open the door. Yet I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. <laughs> Checkpoint. Eradicator activated. Good 
Bye. Luck had nothing to do with it. Boy. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility? <laughs> don't think so. Factories destroyed. One of three. I'll have to go back and figure that out later. Okay, so this was the first episode of my Let's Play of StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. Um, I'm going to try and run through this in an entire day. I may not have them all uploaded and edited and all of that ready in one day, but I'm going to try and record all of these in one day. Um, and using this format, uh, I'll start a mission record any uh, cutscenes that are there all the way to the victory screen and then I'll stop it then I'll start the next episode when I hit the continue button okay so I'll, like I said I hope you enjoy it I hope you visit my website um, leave me some comments let me know if you liked it let me know what you didn't like about it um, tell me how I can make it better so until episode number two Signing off.